Wholesale Paint Group. Wholesale prices to the public. New store now open from 7 a.m. at 128 Learmont Street, Alfreton. Power 1031. Ballarat's leaders in local. Listen anywhere you go on the free iHeartRadio app. Your news now. Hi there, I'm Brett Mack with your local news first. More dodgy driving has been witnessed by police across Western Victoria as Operation West Connect ramps up. There have been four fatal collisions in the state's west this month, occurring in Lucas in Ballarat's west, Manabadar, Carayo and Drummond. Almost half of the offences detected in August were for speeding, with 75% of speeding drivers caught between 10 and 25 k's over the speed limit. It follows a horror month where 13 lives were lost on roads in Western Victoria during July. Today's high winds have already caused at least one frightening incident on the Western Freeway. Witness Mark said the roof of a portable building was blown off whilst being carried on the back of a truck at around 11am, landing on the Melbourne-bound lanes. I was probably a couple hundred yards back and I didn't know what the hell was going on. I see it's uh, what appeared to be the, uh, the roof of the classroom. The Bureau has issued a severe weather warning for much of the state, including Ballarat, Bankers Marsh and Melbourne, with locally destructive winds forecast to hit between 90 and 100 k's an hour. And Ballarat's next generation of leaders are just about to launch into a number of hands-on projects as part of the Future Shapers program. One will be a calendar to address food waste and the cost of living. Another will focus on the often forgotten Carer Card. Heather Luttrell, who's one of the shapers behind the Committed to Carers project, says more businesses need to be aware of the benefits the card can bring. So it's a great program, it's just not well known about in Ballarat. So somebody who is a carer, which means they care for maybe foster child or kinship care, a child with a disability or um, frail aged care, but not somebody who's paid for their caring, um, they are eligible to apply for a carer card. That's the latest in your local news. people are trapped mid-air on a ride at SeaWorld. Gold Coast paramedics are on standby with fireys working to get them down. The vortex stopped working around 3pm. Authorities are investigating the death of a skydiver in Queensland. The 25-year-old man was experienced and on a group dive near the New South Wales border. It's believed the man's parachute opened but he landed badly and died at the scene. A Queensland couple have been charged with murder after the death of a 12-year-old girl two years ago. Police were called to a house in April 2022 where they found the young child unresponsive. State governments around the country have called out the CFMEU for today's protests. Tens of thousands of tradies put building projects on hold to attend rallies in city centres. This protester in Melbourne telling Sky they won't be intimidated. It's just false accusations and everything. They try to hunt us down, but they'll never hunt us down. We'll stand together. We'll stand as one. And a new deadly drug has hit the streets of Sydney. The synthetic opioid, nitazine, is 500 times stronger than heroin, and authorities say there is no safe amount.
to you by D2E Gym. From Delacombe to Wanderee, you're never too far from a D2E. To sport, Carlton head to the AFL Tribunal tonight to challenge the one-match ban handed to forward Matt Owies. He was suspended for a dangerous tackle on Saints star Jack Higgins. If the Blues are unsuccessful, Owies will miss the elimination final against Brisbane. And in NRL, the Storm are preparing to rest their stars for Thursday night's clash against the Cowboys. Melbourne has already wrapped up the minor premiership with coach Craig Bellamy confirming he's looking at putting up to 10 stars on ice ahead of the finals. That's the latest in news and sport. Power FM weather. Any weather is good weather to enjoy legendary steak and ribs with a side of awesome. Book now at Squires Loft, Ballarat. A severe weather warning has been issued for damaging locally destructive winds. For the rest of your Tuesday, Arvo, cloudy with windy conditions. Tomorrow, cloudy with a shower or two and windy as well. A minimum of 8 degrees and a max of 13.